So I ordered some stuff from Ultimate Modeling Products because I've seen the good reviews and a few negative ones and when I opened the packet I started discovering things were not really, you know, brand new, unused, damaged. That one was all right. This one, yeah, well, one side that ain't even glued down. Look, look at that. All, all, all from that company. That one's not too bad. So that's a good one. Their polishing stuff's all right. They was okay. That one's all right, not too bad compared to the others. Then you get to this one, look, it looks like it's been bent or something when it's made. I don't know. Brand new. Don't, I don't know who does their quality control. But, you know. And I messaged the bloke. And they got back to me on Facebook. I've done it on Facebook Messenger. He goes, oh, can you send those pictures you sent to Messenger to my email? So I've done that. You'd think they would reply again, wouldn't you? No, went quiet for 48 hours. So I asked again, even along here, look, just the finishing's bloody poor. That These are okay, they're polishers. You know, but what really got me was just the whole attitude of the oh you left me a negative review. Well, you didn't get back to me. You started talking to me, then you stopped talking to me. Now these had that one's all right. That one's all right. That one's okay. This one, God knows what happened to that, come out the packet like that. You know? Yeah, it's 15 quid. The bloke got a bit aggressive in messages as well because I left negative reviews. And then he posted up the conversation to try and make me look silly, but he cherry picked bits and pieces. You know, so just this company here, they, they need to sort their quality control out because when you order something to try and you end up getting all this substandard stuff that you can tell it's going to fall apart when you use it. And then he goes, oh yeah, he's here, send it all back, send it all back and I'll give you a refund and then we'll send you out the new bits. It's like, mate, I sent you the pictures of the things that were damaged. You could have just... Going, all right, I'll replace what's damaged. No problems. As soon as you saw the first picture, but no, you strung it out and strung it out, and then you try to be all clever and try to be little customers. Ain't going to work. All right? And then you go on about coronavirus. Well, we've got that in London too. You say you're in Spain. Well, you're in Spain. Your company's in the UK. I was dealing with the UK. Maybe you should have your customer services in the UK. And yet, as soon as the negative review went up, you suddenly replied to me. And then used an excuse that, oh, I've only got a phone. Well, you managed to reply then, didn't you? So anyway, enough on the matter. Move on. <laughs>